Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this uh, really simple and elegant looking title animation inside DaVinci Resolve. So here I am inside DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to this settings icon at the bottom right corner and click on this settings icon. And from here, you can change the timeline frame rate. I set mine to 30 FPS, but you can change it to whatever you want. And also the playback frame rate to 30. It should match with the timeline frame rate for the smoother playback in the timeline. So once you do that, then you can click on save. Then the next step is to go to the effects. On the left side, you can see your all the effects. If it's non visible, then make sure you click on the effects library at the top. And then in the effects, you're going to search for fusion composition and drag it onto the timeline. So by default, the duration of this fusion composition is five seconds long, which for this animation i think is pretty okay uh, we can also trim it down later on so that's not an issue now once you drag it into the timeline you can just click on it once it turns red then you can just go into the fusion tab where we can build this animation now i'm going to exit out of the media pool uh, you can see it's uh, right now visible so i can just click on it to toggle it on and off so just hide it if it's visible so that you can just focus on this animation so all we have to do is we just need a single node, the text plus node, just drag it onto the flow and you can just connect it up with media out. Select the text one node and then just simply type in your text. So I'm going to type in DaVinci Resolve and I'm just going to make this font look a bit more cinematic by changing the weight to light and we can increase the size a little and maybe we can increase the tracking amount like that. All right, now that looks kind of cinematic. And now we have to just right click in the styled text area, this box over here. And then we have to select the follower option from this list. So click on that. And now you can see at the top, your modifiers tab will be enabled. And here we can just play with different settings over here. The first thing I want to change is the delay amount. So you can just change it to any value. I'm going to keep it one and then you can just change how the animation appears. So if you want it between every character, you can choose that. Uh, but I'm going to set the order to random, but one by one. So you can play with different list items. So you can just click on the very first one and your animation will look very different from the second one. But I'm going to use this random, but one by one. And then we are going to go to the fourth tab, which is the shading one. Just click on that. And now we are going to create that zoom out effect in our text. So for that, we have to go to the position, just expand that. And then we have the offset Z value over here. So I'm going to go to my, this right here is our timeline. I'm going to go to the 60th frame in my timeline. And then I'm going to create a keyframe on offset Z. So click on this diamond icon to create a keyframe. It will turn red. That means you have successfully created a keyframe at that particular frame. Uh, at 60th frame, our offset Z value is set to zero. Uh, we're going to go to the very first frame and change the offset Z value. So I'm going to reduce this. So you can see the slider just reduces to minus 0 0.5, but we can enter any value over here. So I'm going to set this to negative 20. What I'm trying to achieve is I want this text to disappear altogether. So minus 20 works fine. Um, so if you scrub through the timeline, you can see that you will have an animation that will look something like this already looks pretty cool. Uh, we can further enhance this animation by adding another property. We can animate another property called the rotation. So we can animate either the X, Y or Z rotation. I'm going to rotate the Y axis. So I'm going to go to 60th second and create a keyframe on Y. So you can again do the same thing. Move to the 60th frame. Make sure your playhead, this red indicator is on the 60th frame. And then on the Y, you can just hit this diamond icon. That means you have successfully created a keyframe. Then you can move back to the very first frame and change the Y value to something, uh, maybe negative 90 or something like that. All right, so there is our rotation. Again, you can scrub through the timeline and you can check out the animation. All right, so now the next step is to animate the softness. So I'm going to expand the softness, uh, repeat the process, move your playhead to the 60th frame, create a keyframe on X and Y with the value set to zero. Let's go to the very first frame and change the X value to maybe like 30 on both X and Y. Now, if you play this animation, it's going to look something like 
that now we can further improve this animation by going into the spline select all these all these properties we we animated then we can click on this icon that says zoom to fit then you can select all the keyframes by clicking on this icon that says select all and then i'm going to click on this smooth icon to smoothen out every keyframe that we have selected play this animation one more time and it's going to look much better all right so we have already connected it with the media out we can go back to our edit page we can just move our fusion composition onto a new track and we can use anything as a background for this animation so let's just use this video and here we have our animation in this video you can also create another copy and it's pretty simple hold the alt key on the keyboard and drag it on to the right side to create another copy you can easily change this text select the fusion composition go back to fusion tab and make sure you are in the tools section not in the modifiers click on the tools and just basically change the text to anything that you want so you can type in flying text and go back to your edit page and you can see the changes will be updated in your final animation so let's have a look and there you have it so that's how you can create this really easy and uh, clean looking title animation in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video is helpful. If it was, please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.